Greetings lovely citizens. I am Qtatron and I want to test today of gridding in current PU 3.24.2 and here we have one of the most unique looking ship in the verse. Aurora MR, my new starter. I melted Foray and I buy this cheapest starter package. And I think Aurora is still looking pretty great. Look at these details here. I love it. I love it. But looks, it's not everything. We need to um, talk a little bit about features of this ship. We have two guns here, two size one or two size two, I believe. But we can still place here another two weapons, which is uh, always great. We have here a uh, free SU of cargo grid. We will test this. In previous patches, uh, flying with Aurora was not so great for me. Uh, this ship was terribly bad in atmosphere, but we will test this today. I think in 3.24.2 um, flying model was changed and flying in atmosphere with all the ships is much better now. So we test this. Uh, but before I go, uh, I need to address uh, one thing. What is of gridding so for me it's simply treating your ship like your home that's all you can go everywhere you can do combat you can do some contracts um, some of uh, players describing of gridding like living in your ship outside of uh, spaceports outside of the cities of course but on top of this also purely organic gameplay without any contracts you simply fly around the verse and exploring and looking for adventures this is also very very nice game style okay first let's test this cargo grid because um, inside of aurora We have only cockpit and your bed. That's why in Aurora you can do some off-grid stuff because you can lay down and log out. Hmm. We will also test this today. But no storage, no weapon racks, nothing more. This only, only, only this uh, little bed and the cockpit. So if you want to find something and store in your ship, you need a box. I have here store all one SCU box. Let's try to put this box inside of cargo grid. And... I don't see I can't slap it here maybe it's a bug maybe it's a bug we will see I want to take off and land uh, once more to check this but right now we can slap to the cargo grids also other things and as we see this cargo grid can not here but here we can place for example armor or some weapon so at least you can do this
You see? This is not a bad, bad thing. I done this a uh, lot of lot of times before on uh, for example Titan. If I didn't have a box and I wanted to for example loot the bunker, I just uh, placing armor and weapons on the grid. But the grid of Aurora is pretty weird right now. I don't know why, so it's bugged. Okay, let's try to take off, land, and let's see what we can do. Aurora have six. Oh, bro. Six, yes, six MFDs. A lot of MFDs here. I love it. Uh, okay, let's take take off. Let's, for example, land maybe here. Okay. No, I think cargo grid in Aurora is broken. That's a bummer. So maybe I will need to upgrade this ship to, for example, standard cutter, but I have right now two cutter variants. I buy it in Lorville and the, I show you also this a little bit later. So using this cargo grid is very difficult for me. And on top of this, cargo grid don't work at all. As we see, if anyone finds a proper is issue cancel about this, please put it in the comment. Uh, let participate in this. Because I think Aurora uh, deserves working cargo grid especially right now when um, ship inventory is gone but i will test this ship anyway i love the design of this ship this is one of these things that dragged me into the star citizen back in the days the uniqueness of the ships, especially the old ones. Because you know, <laughs> now uh, you simply create a big flying uh, Dorito with a lot of details and here you go, you have a spaceship. All right, let's fly. Let's fly, for example, to the one of the mining outposts on Hearthstone. Because this is the very good place to find something useful if you don't have anything. Let's check on the map where we can fly, because I want to have daylight. Operay. Operay will be good. Oh, I love this sound. Let me show you. Sound effects to the max. I leave the sound effects right now very high because I want to test also sounds in this ship. I can maneuver, even if I'm boosting up, I can easily maneuver much better than before. And sound effects for me in Aurora are brilliant. 
and here we are on HDMS Operay. Yes, now flying with Aurora is fun. It's really fun. It feels a little bit heavy in at atmosphere, but not so much heavy. I love this ship. Alright. Let's land somewhere here. And we try to log out. Uh, but before... Before I go to sleep, I check one more time this box. I can't do anything with this ship, with this cargo grid. It's broken. So, it's it's not good uh, ship to to off gridding it's not bad as space shuttle but that's that's all i'm very disappointed with this i probably melt this and buy myself a mustang alpha but no mustang alpha don't have a bad Oh, that's a bummer. Okay, let's... We can only lie down here, which is logical. And look at this. This is so small ship. And you have... Windows. See? Log out. Prompt is very easy to find. I like it. Let's see. Maybe nothing bad happened. Okay, I logged in in the same region uh, in latest patch 3.3 branch of patches. When I changed uh, the region, um, logging out um, on the ground, for example, or in the space, I was teleported in the center of Stanton. <laughs> almost into the sun so I don't recommend to change regions when you are logging out or logging in let's see okay I am still on the ground I am still on the ground okay this is perfect let's check this cargo grid once more no Uh, it's bugged. So, let's return to the Everest Harbor and I take out another ship I really like. One of the better ship for off-gridding in my opinion. And we will see each other in Everest Harbor in the moment. Cutter series, in my opinion, redefined what we know about starter ships. Uh, this is Cutter Rumbler, my favorite option. But I like base cutter for a little bit more cargo grid. I like Scout because of uh, nice nacelles and some bigger components. And I like Rumbler because of uh, interior and exterior. I have here very nice livery. And this livery is standard for Cutter Rumbler. So metallic, blue and some yellow accents. Let's go inside. Rumbler is much bigger than Aurora. Of course, if you know the uh, Cutter Rumbler, you know we have very small cargo grid here. 
only two at CU, but this is more than enough for me. If I want simply to loot bunker or uh, something, we can also slap here Mirai pools or even STV, which is not bad. Of course, component access is standard. And my favorite thing in this ship, weapon racks for four guns or tools, two rifles and one big weapon like uh, railgun. Railguns, missile ra launchers and uh, similar weapons are so hard to find right now that I think this additional weapon rack for a large weapon is a little bit too much for this small ship. But I don't want to complain. We have of course armor locker here. Right now we can't use it. But Rumbler, it's a one and only cutter that have this. And the cheapest, cheapest ship that have uh, armor locker, I believe. So we have nice big living space with nice big bed. With fire extinguisher, with some little stor storage compartment. For example, I can place here a drink for myself and toilet and shower combo. This little ship is really, literally, your little home in the stars. That's why I love loved this ship so much. And of course, additional weapon rack. So you can have here two rail guns and on top, on top of this this is the most important thing in this ship in all the cutters nice big storage locker 650k micro SCU not bad at all and two seats so to be honest you can have three passengers here in this ship really you can sit everywhere you can have Three passengers, small armory, so this ship can be very cheap and budget version of the dropship, on top of everything. So this is ridiculously good. Let's find a nice place to log out. HDMS Studios. Cutter is slightly slower, but it's not a big deal. It's still a small ship and it's still not so slow as some uh, much bigger vessels. And now, before I start looting this place, I want to test first logging in and out in the in the ship and cutter have bigger um, bed and we can see it on this bed so we need to hold f key and use lie down option which it which is slower than in our uh, aurora now we need to find a prompt somewhere here here, this is the prompt. And log out. Here we are. Moment of truth. Okay. We are still on the ground. 
do we? Yes. Perfect. Everything all right. And as we see, this ship, this ship provides even better interior than uh, much bigger ships like Vanguard, like a Catalyst series, like Freelancer series. To be honest, I like this interior even more than in C1 because uh, C1 have only two weapon racks and really small storage but have uh, two beds and you know it's multi crew ship after all but I really recommend the Cutter Rambler it have better interior even uh, even if bigger brother the Vulture Nomad have also great interior but no nothing to store your items you need to store your items on this cargo grid here on the cargo bed which is bad <laughs> and here we see probably the best ship to of gridding in Star Citizen right now Zeus and this is and it's not important which one you choose every variant of uh, Zeus have ridiculously great interior with big storage lockers with lot of gun racks on top of this we have lot of uh, shield generators and survivability of the ship is also very important if you're living off grid because very nimble and very squishy ship can be destroyed very fast and if you have something sturdy like cutter your ship can be um, for example damaged but you have much bigger chance to survive and repair your ship. So, let me take only something to drink. And, and I want to test another thing. Okay, here we go. I found also this cool uh, orange multi-tool here and a couple of uh, stuff. I found this core armor on the ground and then uh, when I picked this on the cargo grid, these items fall down on the ground and I can't interact with them, which is weird. So maybe if you find something with attached items, it's better to store it this here. As we see, core armor, dust up, and this Kotabi backpack, MPUV. This is probably subscriber item. And yeah, all these items disappeared. I have here also a uh, Novikov helmet uh, from the outpost. I wanted only to test the cargo grid and cargo grid on the cutter works pretty well so we can store here nice amount of armor and weapons in this ship this operation will be risky so let's fly to another location Alright, here we go, let's check the map, and now, we tested logging out in mining outposts twice, so I think logging out in mining outposts is for now safe, but let's fly to the maker's point. In this patch, weird 
things uh, are are going on in Maker's Point, in Rappel, in Astor's Clearing and any other Duster settlements on Hearthstone and on Microtech, as well as in distribution centers. Every time you leave this uh, area and fly, for example, to the spaceport or die and return from that spaceport, uh, all the items on the ground and sometimes even ships are disappearing. These places are acting like instances in the normal MMO, uh, in my opinion. I don't know how to describe it better, but you know what I mean, probably. And I had a couple of bad times trying to bad logging in this type of uh, places. Alright, this is the good place to land. Okay, now I want to run a little bit around Maker's Point uh, to have the same conditions for test as player uh, who simply go here, do mission or do some trading and or try to, to loot anything here. I go maybe here, check out this place, nothing. Let's run here. All right, and we probably can return to the cutter. Okay, let's log out. Lie down. And uh, I spawned, oh, I didn't record this, but I spawned and my ship was destroyed and I'm dead. What we can learn from this? Simply, if you want to play off-grid, remember fly to the nearest uh, mining outpost every planet and almost every moon have a uh, couple of uh, mining outposts this is not a big deal and log out there don't log out near the bunkers near the distribution centers near the uh, duster settlements or anywhere else please log out nearby the mining outposts or research outposts on several moons where you can buy um, medical supplies because this is technically the same thing that's all for today as always thanks for watching if you like my videos please consider subscribing this will help the channel a lot and as always, have a great day and bye-bye.
And the best thing about Cattle Rumbler is very fast time to deliver if your ship is destroyed. And we can expedite this time instantly. This is great.